Hello friends, I am uploading this video in English. This video is also available in Hindi. So this video is about how to check and find out the capacitor defect. We use capacitors in all the appliances like air conditioners, washing machine and refrigerators. Capacitor is a short span battery and it gets charged and give torque to the motor. Normally we use starting capacitor and running capacitor with the induction motors. The value of the capacitor is measured in microfarad, picofarad and nanofarad. Starting capacitors having a value in range like 30, 40, 40, 60, 60, 80, 80, 100 uh, in microfarad or so on and always of 232 to 50 volt AC whereas the running capacitors are having a fixed value like 2, 4, 6, 10, 20, 30, 50 MFD and always of 440 volts AC. By using running capacitor in the motor circuit, the running capacitor improves the power factor and drop in the current drawn by the motor. So let us see how we can check these capacitor with the capacitance meter. So capacitance meter can be used for checking any of the capacitor. Connect positive and negative props of the meter to the capacitor terminal to be checked. Put the power on and set the meter range according to the capacitor value. Now the capacitor is showing some value and this value is the value of the capacitor in MFD. If this value is equivalent to the value mentioned on the capacitor means the capacitor is ok. See the mentioned value is 35 MFD and the observed value is 34.2 MFD. So this means this capacitor is ok. Remove the capacitor by power putting off. Now we will check another capacitor and the value showing is zero. It means the capacitor is open and defective. Now checking one more capacitor, the value mentioned on the capacitor is 10 MFD and the observed value is 9.7 MFD. So this capacitor is also OK capacitor. If the observed value is less of more than 10% of the capacitor original value means the capacitor is weak or defective. If we will use this capacitor with the motor, the current drawn by motor will be increased and motor winding will get overheated. Never check the capacitor by giving direct supply and shorting the capacitor. This may be a cause of accident. Always check the capacitor with the capacitance meter. It is very safe and accurate. So hope this video will help you in checking the capacitors. Thank you very much.